Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Just disappeared into the hedge there. It's getting a really cool view of this tractor and it does actually look pretty good from down here. Um, so yeah, I was just coming up to check on how the sowing is getting on, how he's doing with planting all of our corn. And he's doing a grand job. I did just go back and top the cedar up so we should now have enough to finish off this field, which should be excellent. So we won't have to worry about him any further. Um, I am now going to head back over to the farm and we can carry on with our sunflower harvest, although I do need to pick up the eggs first. We've got 57 of them up over there. While I'm collecting the eggs, my question for this week is, I am going to plant field 22 and field 33. I'll just quickly go through here and show you that one down there and that little one over there that we've already cut. So we cut barley in that one. Uh, we did whole crop in that one, remember? And then we did the corn in that one. We did it as maize silage and put it into the BGA right there. So I'm going to plant both of those. We will direct drill. As soon as we finish this field, we'll direct drill those two. And it will either be wheat or oats. It is your vote. It is your game. Head down to the comment section down below and let me know which one you would like. We aren't going to have time to plant we won't have time to harvest those and we're not going to have time to harvest anything else either i love that we can have all of our eggs in this basket here we get all our eggs in one basket <laughs> yes i did you understand that that's not actually a good idea to have all your eggs in one basket but anyway i like it uh something we haven't done is put corn and water in for the chickens i will do that that is on my to-do list uh just haven't quite got round to it yet so our tractor is here. I just went on a little bit further and topped up that combine um, after the episode yesterday. I only actually needed to go a little tiny bit further. We were like 95% when I left you. Um, so we are going to carry on today and it's going to be sunflowers. I'm hoping that we will finish most of this field today. And I'm going to activate the auto combine and see how that one does. And also, we haven't actually used the auto combine on this field when we get down near the telegraph poles that go across the field near the bottom. Um, I'm quite interested to see what happens with that. So let's just come up along here. And I need to start the combine up because it's stopped at the moment. Just jump out. There we go. Right, we'll start this one up and then he can empty out. There. And I will also engage... Actually, no, I won't start the auto combine just yet. Let's just open this one out. And you've got to stay in the combine because if you jump out, it stops. That's one thing I never understood because there's so many actions that you can just set going and then leap out of the machine and it'll carry on. But that one little bit, put in the spout out in the combine, that's the one thing that you're not allowed to do outside of the cab. Just seems a little bizarre. So the black seed for the sunflowers... And I haven't actually had a look to see what it looks like. And that is really good, actually. Oh, sometimes the like the, the picture of the seed that you're looking at isn't that great. But this one is actually really, really good. That's like really accurate for sunflowers. Now, I've, like I said, I've never harvested sunflowers on any kind of major scale before. But I do know what sunflowers look like. That is one thing I am familiar with. I'm just going to leave the tractor running, I think. Um, and those actually look really, really realistic can't see them now right let's close that one and if I press five that will I want to go that way round and I want to go in circles for now close that one down and press H and it should allow us to start up excellent right that is going to go round the field for us let's, I can't zoom in any closer to get a good look at the seed there but I can go here Let's look behind and we can see it coming up the window. And that is a really good picture. I really like that. The way that the sunflower seed works there. Right. Let's come out of cab. And we'll see how this is going to cope. And remember yesterday... I'm, I apologise if anybody's been trying to tell me things for the episode. Because sometimes I have a bit of gap in between some episodes. So I'm able to um, refer to some of your comments. Um, and then other times I have to record all of the week's episodes um or at least like all of this like to so all of the sandy bay ones i have to record them all in one day because i've got a full-time job as well as um caring for senlea um some of you may remember her if you ever watched my minecraft episodes she used to do some of the minecraft stuff with me um she has multiple sclerosis um which is a 
permanent disease she'll always have it um, and it makes life very difficult for her sometimes she's um, sometimes in a bit of pain and uh, she has great difficulty walking so I've got to help look after her and I've got two children and I've got a full-time job so I'm not always able to refer to your comments as we go through the week very often you'll find that I record all three episodes for Sandy Bay in one day and I'll record all three episodes for High Hills or whatever the other map is in another day and then the time lapse I kind of fit that in where I can um, so yeah this is why I don't always refer if you put a comment up on day one of Sandy Bay and I don't refer to it the next day or the following day that's why it's because I've recorded the whole week ahead and I have had a couple people saying why don't you ever talk you know refer to the comments I do but it's generally the following week um, so I apologize for that oh, what's gonna happen here is he gonna crash oh of course the um, yeah the <laughs> I forgot about that there's no collision on the telegraph poles so the combine will just go right through the middle of it a um, little bit unrealistic there I've got to admit and I did completely forget about that so I do apologize I was um, I got caught up with explaining why I don't talk to you about everything that you mention um, yeah right well I will actually we'll, we'll just uh, let it carry on for a couple of rounds and and then I might cut a pass across the middle you know what I might actually just leave it this time we might just drive through the telegraph no no I, I'm not gonna do that that's that's too unrealistic I didn't mean to do it that time but I'm not gonna do that on a regular basis we will go round the telegraph holes in the proper fashion because that is what we actually need to do and if they had collision on them we'd have to stop and go around them so we will go around those telegraph poles I will stop in a minute to go around this next one and I am actually thinking though that this harvest we will just keep going round and round and round instead of doing any up and downs um, purely because I want to and we haven't done that yet and this is a fair size field actually I'm not quite sure how long this is going to take uh, what I'll do is I will stop Oh, I'll stop recording in a little bit and um, get a bit more of the field done right. Let's ease up a bit here. Now, I want to just turn it on and manually go around this one. Let's just come forward a little bit. There we go. Right, now, if I cut a slice out round here and we'll go a bit tight there and then come back in like this. Perfect. There we go. I do have a little kink sticking out there, but that should be okay. And now the hired help can carry on. There we go. Auto combine hired help. He's doing a grand job. He's doing just fine. He does actually take a nice full swath. When you use the standard hired help, you get much less of a, a width being filled on your on your header. Um, and we've nearly got another I can like zoom in a bit let's let's take a look from inside the cab there we go that is actually look it's very very similar to actual sunflower seeds and I'm sure most of you have seen sunflower seeds you get them um, you get them in health food shops you get them in you get them in all sorts of stuff here like um, seeded breads or sometimes put sunflower seeds on them um, Although I'm not a fan of eating sunflower seeds, so I don't, I don't see them in, you know, huge number of places. But I do know that they put them in, like, the nut mixes and stuff like that. You know, the, like the, not the nut mixes, um, is it trail mix? Is that what it's called? I can't remember now. Something like that. Um, oh, the other thing I'm wondering, now that I think about it, when we tip that trailer out, do we just tip it in the normal place, or are we going to need to... Um, actually go to a shed because I don't think there is a shed available for tipping the sunflowers in or rye I think it's just the four standard crops so I'm hoping we just tip it into the usual spot I was saying that we were just going to go round and round but the amount of time it takes to turn the corner with this thing it might actually be quicker if we start moving up and down if we put the this normal hired help on it and start moving up and down the field you know I'm not sure We'll skip out in a minute and we'll go and get that tractor and we'll run alongside the combine and offload this full load here I'm at. 80%. 87. I'm hoping that we have time. Right, let's run. We should be able to do it. Come on. The tractor's already started. He's already going. He should just come up alongside us and coming out a little bit. 
There we go. Excellent. All right, we've got some now. That should at least see him round the corner. So one thing with this hired help is it doesn't stop on the corner and allow you to just finish out the, the load. What's he going to do? He's going to go on... Oh, he is going on round. Well, if he's going to go on round, I will come back underneath him and catch him. I think we can get three loads into this trailer, can't we? It's quite a big trailer. So that means we're just going to be twiddling our thumbs while the combine goes round the field again. I might actually do that. Just let it go around the field once more. Um, as this is the final episode of the week, so we do have a little bit of time between when I do the recording, I can actually ask you guys, do you want me to continue doing some sunflower harvesting in our next episode? Or do you want me to... We'll just do it... This, we'll do it today. We're going to spend all day doing it today. Do you want me to finish the field up um, before next week so that we can then um, we'll just drop the sunflower header off somewhere and we'll get the regular header and we'll take that over to the field of oilseed rape I know it's only a small field, you know, the other canola um, just in case you have no idea what's field 36 so it's only a small field um, but we do have that, uh, it's not even going to be a trailer full, uh, so we can go and harvest that one and by that time field 2 will have finished and we can start uh, sowing 22 and 33 um, but I'm not sure what else we're going to do. So, yeah, you know, uh, let me know. This is just like a little bonus question for today to um, carry over into next week. Do you want me to finish harvesting these sunflowers next week? Or do you want me to have it done before you guys join me next week so that we can move on to the next task? And I'm going to... Oh, no, it just missed. Just, just missed. Right, we have 66%. I'm going to go and jump into the combine again and we can... Oh, no, he's going to turn and go back into the crop now. Which way is he going to go? Is he just going to go forward or is he going to try and turn round? Going to do something crazy? Oh, no, he's doing all right. This auto combine is absolutely brilliant. I love the way that it um, follows the contours of the, um, the crop all the way around the field. But sometimes... It could do with a little bit of intelligent thinking. You know, it could just, like, if it could just sort of look ahead a little bit and plan rather than following it exactly and just, like, cut a few straighter lines here and there, that, I think, would be a slight improvement. But I, I would have absolutely no idea how to program something like that. So it's, um, it's certainly well beyond my... I can't do any programming at all. I can barely use a calculator. Uh, so I really don't know if that would even be possible. I mean, is it? Would you be able to do that? Would you be able to have this thing think more intelligently, but without, obviously, you've got to avoid draining system resources, haven't you? Because um, you don't want to impact on the performance of the game, otherwise there's no point in having the mod. So you need something that's not going to drain your system resources while you're using it, but you want it to intelligently think. I mean, this one is obviously a lot more intelligent than the standard hired help. Um, I mean, like this bit coming up now. Uh, in an ideal world, this would just go in a straight line and cut straight across there. But it's not going to, is it? It's going to follow that little loop in, and then it will go back out again, and it's going to be too sharp, so it's going to end up with a wider kink on that little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the combine right here, and I'm going to just take control for this little bit so that I can straighten it out a bit and then let the hired help carry on. There we go. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess it would take quite a bit more for, you know, it would be a much bigger program for it to be able to think ahead like that and not include that little kink in the side of the crop there. Or m maybe when you're doing the, you know, the bits up and down the field, if it would try and cut it straighter. I really don't know. I, I, I don't know anything about programming and I'm kind of vaguely familiar with what a computer is supposed to do. At least I hope I am, because um, I do manage to keep making these videos without, even though my knowledge is somewhat limited. Um, yeah. Right. I'm going to fill up this grain tank, and we'll empty out, and then we can drive back to the farm, and we can tip out our very first trailer full of sunflower seeds. Although, I'm wondering if we should just go and sell them. Where's the best price? Let's go here. So wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, sugar, da, 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 sunflowers, right down the bottom. So we've got auction cattle, auction pig, biogas, 
biomass. Right, Grain Core doesn't sell sunflowers or buy sunflowers. Littleham stores 799. Sandy Bay stores is 860. So we've either got Sandy Bay stores or we've got Littleham stores. The Grain Core won't take them. Uh, the Grain Core is actually the one. Oh, they take potatoes and sugar beet. They're the ones right over the other side. So we want, ideally, Sandy Bay stores. Okay. Where is Sandy Bay stores? <laughs> Can you see it there? You see the wind farm right up the top where field two is. You've got grain core. Over on the right-hand side, looking at the map, you've got Sandy Bay stores. You've got the auction pig, auction cattle. It's all up there. It's about as far away as you could possibly get from where we are right now. Um, yeah, that's just great. What I might do, actually, is if we store all of this in a shed, I could hire a lorry for one day. I know that we are going to get that man TGS because we're going to sell some slurry and stuff and we're going to use it for selling some pigs and um, so on from Willow Farm. So yeah, what I think I'll do is if I hire a lorry and get a um, bigger trailer uh, we could take it all in one go. And I think it'll be one of those big frameless tippers that I used in uh, the time lapse over in the States. We could try and get something like that. I know that it's not ultra, you know, it's particularly realistic for this country to have something that big so maybe maybe we'll just have to go for something a bit more normal i don't know we'll, we'll see how much we get that's what we'll do we'll judge it on how much how um how many tons of sunflower seeds we actually get from this crop we're very nearly almost full and i'm going to stop it right there so i don't actually drive through that one let me just close that one away because what we're going to do is we're going to cut around this telegraph pole like this and I'll move down there and now there we go if I just turn off a second I will come back up and we'll cut around the telegraph pole on this side and I will cut straight through just like this now if I cut through to here like this and then I will back up, turn, and I will get that little bit there, and then we can unload into the trailer at the same time. And then I can put the combine back going while we take that load of grain back over to the farm. See, I've got it all planned out. Do this from in the cab just this little bit. There we go. And I think the animation is all right on this one. I mean, it's not perfectly synced or anything like that. Um, but it does look all right, and you look closely at the animation. I know that the colour changes a little bit just on the bit where it's um, cutting it, but it does look like sunflowers that are moving back through it. So it does have that in its favour. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the animation is like in the new game when they actually uh, when, when we use it. And that is something that we're going to do fairly early on on at least one map is we are going to get sunflowers in. Uh, what was the other one that we had? It's uh, soybeans, isn't it? I've never done that either. I've never had anything to do with soybeans in real life. I have done peas, as I have told you before. Uh, but I've never had anything to do with soybeans. So that'll be another crop that I want to do fairly early on. Um, as I would imagine, most people will. That is going to be something that a lot of people will get as early as they can. Try out these new crops and see what they're like. Um, that's, to, well, that's to be expected, really. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do any different. It'd be unthinkable to do anything different. So, that is... Oh, that's everything. I didn't think it would all fit. I'll start this one up again, and then we can start driving back to the farm. So I'm going to just cut in another little slice there, so that it should go round there next time fairly easily, I would have thought. Come up to here, and start the hired help going. What's it going to do with that telegraph pole? I've got a horrible feeling that it's going to go right through the middle of it. But we won't see that, so we'll just pretend it hasn't happened, and we'll pretend that the hired help has enough brain to drive round the telegraph poles instead of trying to drive right through the middle of them. Um, although that might actually be wishful thinking. Uh, I'll go in cab. Let's hope that we don't tip the trailer over, going full tilt down across there. Let's just have a look at this. He is definitely going to go right through the middle of that telegraph pole, isn't he? Oh, that's heartbreaking. Um, no, I'm not. I'm, we're not going to look at it. We're just going to pretend that it's not happening, that he has carefully and sensibly cut round that, because we need to go and tip this, and we are out of time. 
Uh, well, we're almost out. My, my alarm goes off at exactly 20 minutes into the episode. So then I've got a few minutes to kind of finish up and wrap up. And I did say previously that I try to keep the episodes to under 25 minutes, but I've had a few people say they would like, you know, 25 to 30 minutes on an episode. Um, I don't know what you guys think. I know sometimes it's better to have a slightly shorter one, you know, nearer 20 minutes rather than nearer 30 minutes. Um, you know, that just, you know, if you've got any particular thoughts on that one, then please let me know. Head into the comment section. But most importantly, what I would like to know from you this week is do you want me to continue the Sunflower Harvest in our next episode? So the beginning of next week, do you want me to do another day of Sunflower Harvesting? Or do you want me to uh, go on and do all of that before our next episode and then uh, start something fresh next week? Um, I really do want to know your thoughts on that one. So let me just pull forward a little bit further right there. Tip out our very first lot of sunflowers. Did we actually have anything in here already? No, we didn't. We've only got four down there. So we have no sunflowers in there at the moment. So it's whatever we get out of this field. And I think we will just go and sell them all straight away because we're not going to use them anywhere else. It'd be nice to get a little bit of money from them. Um, we had just over 30 ton there. Right. So my question for this week is field 33 and field 22. Wrong way. Up here. Field 33, that one, the little one, and field 22 are harvested we did silage out of both of those and waiting for the next crops we're going to plant some crops i genuinely don't know if we're going to have time to harvest them though i don't think we're going to be able to do that however we will plant some because then we can try the amazon pantera in those two little tiny fields and i think that could be quite entertaining so that is definitely something i would like to do so which would you like me to do would you like me to plant wheat or would you like me to plant oats it's your vote it's your game. Head to the comment section down below and let us know what you think. And yes, most importantly today, do you want me to go and finish this huge great big acreage of sunflowers before I see you again? Or would you like to actually see some more of the sunflower header and the combine in action in our next episode? Um, let me know on that one as well. I would really like to know what you think about that. Uh, I'm just going to stop here and I'm going to go and catch up with that combine. If I jump out, and we run along, go racing up here, and jump up. There we go. Perfect. Beautifully timed. We will just admire this from inside the cab. Um, I think that is about everything. Our corn will have been planted before next episode. That will be finished. So once we've done this combining and the oil sweet rape, we can start uh, planting in field 22 and field 33 that will be the last of the planting that we do and shortly after that we will have rye to harvest and then we'll have potatoes to harvest um, we want to try and sell some of the beef and the pigs we want to try and sell some slurry and some manure using the man tgs lorry to transport it over with i got a lot to do and not very much time to do it in so until next time if you've enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.